Naima Akif, legendary Egyptian dancer, touched the hearts of many. She was a true star of the silver screen in the golden era of the 1950s. Her beautiful and unique dance is an inspiration to dancers all around the globe until now. Welcome to the tribute. Please welcome the spirit of Naima Akef. <laughs> Naima Akef was not only a dancer, she was a fantastic actress, singer and comedian. She practiced many dance styles from Rakshaki, Rumba, Dabke to her beloved tap dance, which she mastered to the top level. I said top level. Singing, dancing, acting, doing acrobatics. How come Naima was so multi-talented? Well, she was naturally gifted and she came from a circus family. Naima Akef was raised in an athletic family where all the members practiced sports that required risk-taking and bravery. Furthermore, she came from the town Tanta in the Nile where balancing acts and dances were popular. For example, Naima and her sister Fatma used to dance on top of a table that their grandmother balanced in her mouth. Impossible? <laughs> Naima Akef created dozens of choreographies. She always paid attention to every detail. No wonder she won a golden medal for the best dancer out of 122 countries at the International Youth Festival in 1957. She called her dance the Mamluk Dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
Personally, she was loved by her friends and she was always funny and joking around. She was a person who always cheered everyone up. From her childhood, she loved animals and nature. One of her most beautiful memories was riding a horse in the night, moonlight reflecting on the greenery. She loved beauty all around her. She adored beauty all around her. She wanted beauty all around her. She had a huge collection of Chinese artifacts that decorated her house. Naima loved flowers. She cared for them as if they were people with feelings. She believed flowers could feel pain and happiness. But there was someone who she loved dearly. It was her son, Muhammad. She loved her child so much and stopped working for a while to enjoy every moment with him. Unfortunately, Naima got sick. Already during the filming of her last movie, cancer started to take over her body. People around her tried to look for a treatment abroad, but without success. Naima Akif, who had such a wonderful future ahead of her, who was a great artist and who couldn't imagine to be without her beloved two-year-old son, died at 36 years old. Although she left our world, she will never leave our hearts. Naima lives through her voice, dance and art. There will always be her spirit, the spirit of Naima Yeah. 